and readily usually when we start our functions our programs and so on we start with the recitation of the holy quran the son of our maulana said muhammad tastik this is young akid muhammad tastik he's a student of the isa academy on e street we'll start our program off with a recitation from the holy quran أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فألهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلح من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت ثمود بطغواها إذ بعث أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسقياها فكذبوه فعقروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يخاف عقباها صدق الله العلي العظيم Indeed, God Almighty has spoke the truth. Young Agid uh, Tastik is the son of uh, Maulana Tastik. They're now working here in Ghana. He attends the Isa Islamic Academy. And young Tastik, you can see, all beautifully attired already to celebrate it tomorrow here in Guyana. I'm quite certain I want to give him the opportunity as we start the program. Um, his friends there at Isa School. Um, How is the month of Ramadan been for you? Normally, the school closed off in Ramadan. So yeah, it's not the first week. We had annual examinations the first week. Mm -hmm. We managed it. And it okay. was pretty fine. Uh -huh. And the rest, it was fine. It wasn't that difficult, but as usual, Ramadan is a month where it's, um, we have to change spiritually. So we need to work hard on that. Right. Let me give you a few minutes to extend your greetings to your teachers, your fellow students, your relatives. First and foremost, I would like to send my uh, Eid Mubarak uh, to everyone across the world, everyone, uh, especially to my uh, family members in India. We miss them all. And I would like to send uh, my Eid Mubarak to everyone who is watching this uh, TV program live, and my friends and teachers in school, and my family members in home right now. Is there a very, what we refer to a best friend? Did you have that in school? Yeah, all, all my friends are my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Akid. Uh, Said Mohammed Akid, the son of uh, Maulana Said Mohammed Tasik, opening our program there with a Quranic recitation. You're going to enjoy a few more things now as I will invite our beloved Maulana to make a presentation. Okay. Thanks for calling. Okay. Right. Maulana, it's over to you. Ramadan month is now at the end. We are waiting for tomorrow to celebrate the Eid. In fact, the celebration of the Eid is thanksgiving to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, magnifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all his favors and bones granted in the month of Ramadan. We fast, we chanted du'as, we offered the prayers, we uh, recited the Quran, we enjoyed a lot being in the month of Ramadan. Plus, we acquired a lot of reward and thawab. What I want to mention, the special for this Ramadan is last evening, as our brother mentioned, we were not able to sight the moon in this hemisphere of the world. It means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted us another opportunity to spend one more day 
and that day is not ordinary day and that day is Juma. and this year we had five Juma in the month of Ramadan so that itself is a blessed Ramadan and we enjoyed it and one more speciality compared to few other Ramadans normally in the end of the Ramadan we are waiting to sight the moon and we are not certain that the next day is the Eid or not because it depends upon the moon sighting so we may not be well prepared for the Eid but this year it is certain as per the jurisprudence, Islamic jurisprudence in the lunar calendar Islamic lunar calendar we have 29 days of a month or 30 days of the month we don't have 31 days in the Islamic lunar calendar so it means if you sight moon on the evening of 29th it means the next day is the first day of the next month so the month concludes with 29 days not 30 days but if we are not able to sight the moon on the evening of 29th day it means the next day is 30th for the coming day is automatically first we no need to sight the moon tonight whether we sight the moon or not the next day automatically is the first of the shawal and the Eid day so we are certain that tomorrow is the Eid we, we have no confusion we don't need to look on the sky and we don't need to sight the moon for the Eid so Eid is tomorrow is confirmed so we go for the Eid prayer with certainty that the, we can fix the time we go rush towards the Islamic centers and masjids and inshallah we glorify and magnify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what I want to mention here is if we talk about the Ramadan and the Eid we can go up to our limited knowledge what if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speak to you about the month of Ramadan and the Eid definitely that is something which we are looking for I choose only three verses of the Holy Quran in chapter Baqarah 183, 184 and 185 this is summarized about the month of Ramadan and the obligations on Muslims in the month of Ramadan and the Eid is mentioning everything within three verses of the Holy Quran here in the bracket I want to recommend all our Muslim brothers and sisters and also our non-Muslim brothers and sisters mashallah whenever you want to have a copy of Quran in your English language you can go anywhere any masjid you can ask they will donate you or any Muslim they can willingly they can donate you just pick a copy of Quran if you don't have so far open Quran randomly because this month the month of Ramadan is the month in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the Quran the revelation of the Quran in fact the other the holy books as well reveal in the same month like Zabur Taurat and the Old Testament and New Testament also we believe that it's revealed in the month of Ramadan anyway the Quran is revealed in the month of Ramadan so it's a good opportunity open the Quran randomly any part just go through the few verses definitely you will enjoy meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you feel that Allah is speaking to you and that may encourage you to read more of the Quran and probably encourage you to embrace Islam now let us go through with the three verses of the Holy Quran 183, 184, 185 of the Surah Al-Baqarah the second chapter of the Quran and see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defining the month of Ramadan and the Eid Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala ladhina min qablikum O you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for nations before you la'allakum tattaqoon may you attain taqwa out of it so now here the fasting is prescribed the word prescribed means normally we go for the uh, to doctor and they prescribe a prescription so this is a prescription by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that prescription if you go through as it is prescribed we achieve a lot of benefits out of it physical benefits as well as spiritual benefits fasting as our Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi mentioned that sumu tasihu fast and be healthy it's a best dietary system though we don't fast for the diet diet we don't fast our intention is not that but automatically we benefit from it so we have a lot of physical benefit out of fasting 
as well as the spiritual benefit. We cannot even mention the reward we achieve in the month of Ramadan. We seek the nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you go check the newspapers across the world, especially the Muslim world, Muslim countries, the crime rate in the Muslim countries significantly drop in the month of Ramadan. It means the Muslims, through the fasting, they are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and spiritually they are purified. So that's why the crime rate is reduced significantly. So we have plenty of benefits, social benefits, family benefits, or the, the personal benefits, the physical benefits, as well as the spiritual benefits of the fasting. So that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a prescription by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the Muslims, as it was prescribed for the nations before. We have in Hindus, we have fasting, upwasa. We have in Christians fasting. And it is in, in Quran it is mentioned about the fasting of the Lady Maryam, uh, Saint Mary, and it is uh, I, I'm sure that we have the in, in the Jewish community also we have fasting. So fasting is something not only for the Muslims. It is uh, made the the method of fasting may a little bit different, but we have all this prescribed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for all nations. Now continuation of the verses. The next verse, ayam al maduda. These are the limited days. 29 days or 30 days. Those who are sick or those who are traveler, they may need to fast in the month of Ramadan. They are exception. They can make it sometime later. After Ramadan, once they are okay, they can make it over. Those for those who are very hard to keep fast, like elderly person, 80 cross, 90 cross, they can't fast, really, they can't resist. It is not obligatory on them. For fidya to ta'am in miskin, they can give some charity for the needy instead of fasting. That's that's accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for man tatawa khayran fahuwa khayrullah. Even it is hard for them to fast, but still if they want to fast, it's good for them. Always the fasting is better. Fasting is better for you. It's the best system, dietary system for yourself. And also it is good to seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And benefit from the fasting. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in next verse it is mentioning. Shahr Ramadan. The month of Ramadan. Alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. The Quran sent down in the month of Ramadan. What is Quran? Hudan lin nas. It is not only guidance for Muslims, it is guidance for mankind. Anyone who wants to seek guidance, he can he or she can achieve the guidance through the Holy Quran. Well you, here I want to mention that it is the wrong concept that the Quran is a Muslim book. No, no, no. It is not a Muslim book at all. Quran is a book revealed by a creator who created Muslims as well as non-Muslims. So Quran is a book of creator. So whoever wants to seek guidance, they can seek guidance from the Quran. What is Quran? It is guidance for mankind. Easily you can identify what is good and what is wrong. The righteous and the wrong. Everything you can identify through the Quran. Quran, first of all, is a proof an authentic proof and then it is a criterion criterion between the good and bad those who cite the moon before the month of Ramadan they will start the fasting so it indicates that the citing the moon is very important for the Muslim they have to be alert to cite the moon so they can start the month of Ramadan Woman kana maridan, again is repeating for the importance of the matter. Woman kana maridan aw ala suffering for iddatun min ayamin ukhar. Those who are sick, they cannot make it. Or those who are traveler, it is hard for them. They can make it sometime later. Yuridu Allahu bikum al yusr. Allah wants to grant you ease. Wala yuridu bikum al usr. Allah don't want you to, uh, Allah don't want put you in trouble. Allah wants grant, to grant you ease. Once you finish the month of Ramadan, meaning once you sight the moon, the next the moon, the moon of the month of the moon of the month of Shawwal, 
Wali tuk minal idda. Finish the 29 days or the 30 days. Wali tukabbiru Allah. You have to magnify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You say Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. You are magnifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means the eat. Allah ma hadakum. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided you. You received the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the month. And that's why you have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ you, you may thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the entire program of the month of Ramadan and the Eid, it is mentioned in three verses of the Holy Quran. 183, 184, 185 of the chapter Baqarah. Starting from the month of Ramadan, prescription of the fasting, and then the completion of the month of Ramadan, sighting the moon, and celebrating the Eid. It's a happy Eid, Eid al-Fitr, Eid Mubarak to all our viewers and all entire Muslim community uh, across the world, those who are celebrating. Some of the countries, they celebrate uh, a day before because of the Saudi moon, and some of the countries, a really few countries, they're celebrating a day after. But Saturday is almost the, uh, the majority of the countries celebrating the Eid. So happy Eid al -Fitr. Yeah, that, that's what um, the information we would have um, had the majority of Muslim countries will be celebrating on tomorrow, Saturday. including maybe your own country yeah, as well. Yeah, India is on the top moon, and it yeah. was 29 days in India. So they are also celebrating tomorrow on Saturday. Tomorrow, yeah. All right, Maulana, um, I would have alluded to earlier the night of Qadr um, in the month of Ramadan. And over the years, I must believe as us Muslims, and even one who would have embraced Islam, um, studying the night of Qadr, the importance. This is the majestic night. Allah has created it for us. Tell us a little bit about the night of Qadr. Let me speak through the Quran. Why I have to speak? Let us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speak about the Laylatul Qadr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning the Laylatul Qadr in the Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. Wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. Tanazzal al-malaika tuwarruhu fiha bi idna rabbihim min kulli amr. Salamun hiya hatta matla al-fajr. The whole chapter is talking about Laylatul Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. We send down the Quran in the Laylatul Qadr. The night of power, the night of decree, the night of faith. Wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr. What you know about the Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr. The night of power is better than 1,000 months, 83 plus years. It's not equal to, it's better than. And how better? It's left to us. We can write how better through our efforts, through our sincerity, through our uh, reformation of inner self. So once we do, we put our efforts to seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can write our own faith. We can write our own decree in the night of power. Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alfi shahr is better than thousand months. Tanazzal al malaika tu warruhu fiha bi idni rabbihim. By the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the night of power, the angels and the archangel will come down. Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. This night is the night of peace until the dawn of the next day. So the whole night is night of peace. تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالرُّوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرَ So they bring all the files of the, the mankind. So the mankind are uh, very much encouraged to write their own decree, write their own faith. Here, Allama Iqbal, the very great poet of the subcontinent, he mentioned very nice poetry line. خُدِيكُ كَرْ بُلَنْدْ إِتْنَا كِ هَرْ تَقْدِيرِ سَيْ پَحْلِ Keep yourself up to high standard. Make yourself higher, up to a level that you are not seeking, oh Allah, write a good decree for me, write a good faith for me. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before writing a faith for you, Allah will ask you, what do you want me to write for you? So you have to upgrade yourself up to that level. So Allah will ask you, what do you want? Oh my servant, what do you want? There is a hadith in Hadith al Qudsi. It's mentioned that Abdi Ati'ni Hatta Aj'alaka Mithri. Oh my servant, obey me. Show your loyalty towards me. I will make you like myself. Meaning, you can do wonders once you show loyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The night of power is night of decree, night of faith. 
and that night in that night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the Quran normally in the Muslim world they stay awake all night they chant Quran they offer the prayers they make dua and that's what is better than how, how, difference, how difference it is uh, is there a difference how we observe it here in Ghana as against no, the Muslim world is observed the same thing it's uh, we have a slightly different opinion within the Muslims uh, which night is the night, night of power yeah, in terms no. of the old night the night of power there is no doubt in the month of Ramadan right mm -hmm. because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, we send down the Quran in the night of pa power and also it says that in, in the month of Ramadan so, so there is no doubt that the night of power is in the month of Ramadan but also there is no doubt that one of the odd nights of the uh, last ten, ten days, ten days, ten nights, like in the odd, mm -hmm. odd ten, like five or six nights, right? One of those odd nights. So there is a difference of opinion whether it is twenty first, twenty third, or twenty fifth, or twenty seventh. Majority or twenty ninth as well. So the majority celebrate the twenty seventh as a uh, uh, night of power, but there are even you know, the evidence that twenty uh, third. You know, one of also odd nights. It's good to observe all to, to make use of the time. Yes. Because once you see, if if you say but if you work tonight, I am going to grant you like the the, equ the salary of equivalent to hundred months, a thousand months. What you do? You nobody will miss. Nobody so Allah will. says that this night night of power is better than thousand months. <laughs> so nobody should. Well, that's <laughs> nicely put there by our beloved Maulana uh, Said Muhammad Tasik. Uh, just I draw in him a little there to tell us a little bit about the night of fourth, uh, night of Qadr, but also in a nutshell. The three verses uh, from Surah so Al-Baqarah in terms of all encompassing all uh, the virtues in terms of the observance of Ramadan and the celebration of Eid. Maulana, few minutes remaining. Four minutes. Okay. First of all, I want to mention this one that we achieve a lot in the month of Ramadan, waking up early in the morning, offering prayers on time, recitation of the Quran, and giving in charity and being humble and seeking nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What I recommend all my brothers and sisters that what we achieved we should not end by tomorrow. We have to continue until the next Ramadan. The exercise, it was the good exercise in the month of Ramadan. You were, even we, are, we prove that we are able to abstain from halal if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us for a certain time. From dawn to dusk. Why not we are able to abstain from haram from the for the rest of our life? Yes, we can do it. So that confidence we built in the, in the month of Ramadan, we have to carry on after the month of Ramadan. I use the opportunity to extend my greetings to all Muslim brothers and sisters, especially the imams and the leaders of the uh, Islamic centers, because they they work is extensively increase in the month of Ramadan and also uh, those who support and in, in, in all terms financially or morally or helping being a volunteer we extend greetings to all of them um, obviously I was close to some of them like uh, our brothers and sisters in, in Barbies in Masjid uh, being opposite to Cumberland market and also our community here in Georgetown those who came daily basis some of our brothers but Ashraf and his family yeah, some of our brothers who came from all the way from Golden Grove mm -hmm. and Barbies just to attend our programs and also some of our brothers came from Linden to participate and we had a couple of programs in Linden as well so we extend the Eid al Fitr happy Eid al Fitr to all our brothers and sisters and inshallah we hope that this Ramzan as it was better than previous Ramzan we hope that coming Ramzan will be much much better than this Ramadan, inshallah. Maulana, to you and your family and to the members as well. May Allah bless you, Eid Mubarak.